Then Robinson flies out to Woodling, and Jorgensen races home after the catch. This is opening day, April 15th, 1947, and my father here, where is signed Spider Jorgensen, he was the other rookie that day. The connection between Jorgensen and Robinson is a unique one. In the spring of 1947, Jackie had already made the Brooklyn Club, but Spider was a last-minute call-up from the minor leagues. Jorgensen made it to Brooklyn just in time for opening day with no uniform and no equipment. On that day, there were two rookies. One was Jackie Robinson, one was Spider Jorgensen, and one of them showed up with no gear and the other one said, here, use my glove. Using a glove given to him by Jackie Robinson, Spider and Jackie combined to record the very first out in that historic game. When the leadoff hitter of the Boston Braves grounded to third base, Spider scooped it up, threw it to Jackie at first base, and baseball history was changed forever. The Jackie Robinson's entry into professional baseball is, is, is a social milestone, so to have uh, a local guy be part of that, be on the same field, to, have, to make his debut at the same time as Jackie Robinson, it's a wonderful connection. It's Back in 1939, Spider Jorgensen swung away right here for Sac City College, where he holds a special place in the school's record book as the first Panther ball player to make it to the majors. Now, since then, 34 Panthers have followed Spider to the big leagues. The whole connection between uh, Spider and Jackie Robinson, I was ignorant to uh, for a very long time. Andy McKay has been the head baseball coach at Sac City College for nine years. He keeps this famous photo of the 1947 Brooklyn Dodgers infield in his office. And for a long time, he didn't know the player on the far left was Spider Jorgensen. When I come across this uh, um, print shop, and there's a big, a big version of that picture, and it had the, the names identified on it. And I told my wife, I said, my God, that's, that's Spider Jorgensen. That's the first Sacramento City College uh, big leaguer on the day that Jackie broke the color barrier. Dusty Baker makes the diving catch. The greatest time and the most fun I ever had in the game was when, when I was playing American Legion baseball for Spider Jorgs. As a teenager in the 1960s, Dusty Baker was a three-sport star at Del Campo High School and played on the American Legion team coached by Jorgensen. Spider had returned to Folsom after his pro career ended, but Dusty was unaware of Spider's past. Because he never told us he played for the Dodgers. Nobody ever told us that he played, you know, big league baseball. And he says, man, you got a great future in baseball. He says, the only thing is, if you could combine your skills from football and basketball and concentrate on baseball, that you could be a heck of a baseball player. And Spider was right. Dusty's 18-year major league career included two all-star berths, and the World Series title in 1978. As for Spider, he spent the last 30 years of his life as a scout, mostly with the Chicago Cubs. During the 1990s, he was inducted into the Sac City College Hall of Fame and the Brooklyn Dodgers Hall of Fame. A resolution in the State Assembly honors Spider for his life's work. When he died three years ago at the age of 84, Spider was the longest surviving member of a famous infield that made history 60 years ago. And he probably had no idea that day how, how big that day would end up becoming in terms of just uh, um, the social context of the country. I didn't really pay much attention until many, many years later that there was this moment in history that probably gets more focused today and every 10 years than it did back in 1947. That's